Hi there, I'm Daryl Williams from Python Bytes, and this is a continuation of the tutorial of using a micro framework called Bottle. Now, in the last tutorial, we created our template, the base template, which was in the to do views folder, and then we stored our CSS code in the to do static CSS folder. Okay, so uh, what I'll do is I will start the server. So I go to start to get the command prompt. I go CMD. I go up to hop top here, left click to open it. And then I go up here to the to do folder, right click go copy address as text then I go CD which means change directory I paste that there which will take us to the to do folder then I'll go Python so I'm saying Python can you open the server file I press enter and there's an error now I knew about this error but I wanted to show you the uh, the B debugging functionality of bottle which helps and I saw this after I did the previous tutorial uh, and I'm not embarrassed about it because I hope you picked up on it because if you did it means you're aware or familiar with the Python code and you can find what the problem is okay and this is the problem here I've got debug equals true but I've got this from a previous code or I typed the wrong so I removed that and save that control s on my keyboard to save it then I go back here and the server isn't running so on the keyboard I'll press the up arrow key and that will bring up the previous code that I put on there then I press enter and I have another one index line 4 def index there's a plus sign there line 4 don't know how that got there so bottle does help you debug your code which is great so we're back here again up arrow key on the keyboard press enter another line ah you have to have a comma there to separate the code. Right, uh, control S save. Try one more time. Up arrow key on the keyboard, press enter. Yes, it's working. Okay, the server is running. And where we want to stop it, we'll press the control C button. I'll do that now and it'll stop the server. Up arrow key for the previous code, press enter and the server is started. And then we'll go in here, go local host and it's port port 80. Our host is local host. So type that again. Yep, click that and here we go the server is now delivering web pages okay now if I click home I'll go new okay I'll click that 404 not found so we don't have a function with a route forward slash new if we look at the code here all we've got is forward slash test and forward slash on its own. Okay, so we don't have a new, which will be a new to do list. Uh, that'll have, well, I'll show you how to do that later on. But I'm just getting you familiar with the routes. This is the interaction between the website, uh, the address up here, the URL of your, or the web page 
that we've requested the new web page but it doesn't exist that's why we got this error it couldn't be found so go back uh, the next problem is uh, the we don't have a decent design we're not using the CSS file so if we view source and there is the CS, CSS file and we it, it can't find it if it found it we would see all the code of the CS, CSS file okay so I'll close that but it is delivering the information from our index file Okay, our index file is in views, it's in here, and I believe I have it, no I don't, okay, so go here, open that in notepad, okay, so that is what's being delivered. Alright, but we want to get the CSS to work. Okay, so the way that we do that is we add another function we import another function called static file and this is so that we can access go back here the static folder and our CSS we would also use it to access images our JavaScript but at the moment we want this CSS file so going back here we import from bottle static file and we start a new route I just copy this because it just makes it a little bit quicker okay up the top here you go static static so it's saying in the static folder I want you to go to access file name dot path so we'll provide the path after static what file we want to access or request to be shown on our web page then we go send static and here it's not template it's static underscore file and we have here file name comma and then we go root equals go across here root equals dot static forward slash okay so now we are referencing the static file to access files that we have in our static folder this folder here so I'll save that but now now that we've got that I open our views base template open that and up here just before I do yeah okay okay here I'll go now this is what we've uploaded uh, this is what the server is generating the web page and I do refresh and nothing changes and I'll view source click main CSS nothing there okay now also the server is running so what we're looking at here is with the server code we have a reloader set as true so that any changes that we make in our code it will be reloaded so we don't have to close shut down the server and start it up again okay so now in the base base template here we have base dot tpl the base template we go static that's a static folder and the CSS folder show main okay now I save that I don't close the server 
okay you notice it's got main CSS here that's because we tried to ask, access it and we couldn't find it and we get a 404 error now close this and then I refresh ah what's going on there make me a liar again okay so any changes index no that one there that one there that one there um server ah here we go file name save that all right now we'll try that bingo and we didn't have to shut down the server or quit the server and start it again it reloaded and there we go now we can we've got the design of our website that looks more attractive if I click home no problems because this is the home page index TPL is a home page we go to new you notice the address down the bottom of the page and if I go home new about if I click new we get a 404 error okay so that's it for this tutorial it's all done we now have our template working now we can start working on our routes to get some functionality in our to-do list application if you have any uh, comments or questions about this uh, tutorial please leave a comment below this video uh, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please subscribe there's a little logo on the on the right hand side bottom right hand side of this video just click that and you can subscribe to my channel I'm Darrell Williams from Python Bytes till the next tutorial goodbye